today's video I want to talk about wood spirit carving it's uh, not difficult to do but uh, it's fun so I've got these sticks some of them I've carved a few years ago and some have started recently but I've got ones in different stages to, sh to show you so that's one with a leaf beard, I think it's like a Herm the Hunter type character. Um, sandpaper's great for smoothing them out. So there's a rough cut one. And then work it with a sandpaper to make it more lifelike. And then summer paint, that's like a kind of Hearn wood spirit. And then this was one of my first ones I did with all different characters on it. Um, I put these kind of like jewel things in off my wife's jeans. She does like makes her own patterns on clothes and things, so I pinched those. Um, yes, yeah, so that's got like ivy leaves or whatever you want to call them going all the way up it. And there's a hook on the top of it for uh, taking pots off a fire. And this one's holly, they're all hazel, but this one's holly, and it's quite bendy, but, but strong. That's just got one in it, and then my friend made me this kind of mystical beast. So that's uh, a lamp hanger, and then this one is Odin, with one eye, with an amber eye. Uh, but the other way around, it looks like something else. When you're walking down the street or somewhere, people think you've got something else in your hand. <laughs> but it's actually a helmet. Not a purple helmet, but a normal helmet. <laughs> um, and then there's one I've done for me son, because it's cheeky. I've got a tongue sticking out on it. And there's another one in an early stage for me other son. Um, but I think wood spirits originate from the Black Forest in Germany, when they used to carve faces in the wooden cabins in the woods to prevent forest fires burning down the cabins, kind of like a good luck uh, symbol. But yeah, the principle, basically, when you start carving them, get your knife and uh, basically cut a slot that way and then cut down like there, down like that side and then take this bit away to create the nose and the eyes and then after you've done that you kind of the rest kind of comes easier because you've already got your foundation for what you're carving but some people leave them rough and some people sand them down and whatnot but I, I like them painted to be honest I think because I used to like narrowboat art that's uh, Umbro paints, the stuff what you paint narrowboat out with and just mix two different colours of green together and you know, uh, linseed oil as well, boiled linseed oil um, it's nice for the uh, for the wood but anyway, just thought I'd share that with you uh, something to think about if you ever want to do it or you probably have, have done it but yeah so I'll go back to my beer now and leave you with wood spirits. Thank you.